Intel's Teraflop Research Chip consists of a lot of innovations going forward for multi-core architectures. Some of them are rapid design conversions, network on a chip, and fine-grained power management. Bringing terascale computing to PCs and servers requires a new way of building processors that can be thought of as a network of powerful computers on a chip. This Teraflop research chip is one important example of how the Intel Terascale Computing Research Program aims to change the future through constant hardware and software innovations. In addition to the compute element, each core contains a 5-port message passing router. These are connected in a 2D mesh network that implement message passing protocol. This network on a chip mesh interconnect scheme could prove much more scalable than today's multi-core interconnect, allowing better connection between the cores. In the past, you have seen teraflop computing at the system level. In fact, just 10 years ago, Intel shipped their first teraflop machine to Sandia Labs, which consisted of multiple cupboards. And that would have probably fit in this room. Today, after 10 years, we are going to demonstrate Intel's technical leadership and manufacturing capability. We are embedding that same performance in this chip. What we have here first is this custom-made board. It was designed in this lab. The other thing is the chip is sitting right underneath this chiller head. We've got these cables providing the supply to the board. Each cable here provides 50 amps. The cables here are the JTAG controls and the input-output of the chip. The, the display on the left side shows 80 tiles on a single chip with each tile consisting of dual floating point engines and an on-die router responsible for communication between the tiles. Okay? So the maximum achieved frequency on this chip is 5 gigahertz and with all 80 tiles running a blocked matrix version, the peak performance on the screen observed is 1.6 teraflops.